Good morning, guys. Good morning from the Swift family. Welcome back to another vlog. Missed you guys. You're joining us today on a very um, autumnal. Well, that's just the two. Uh, that is the two uh, different point perspectives. Half, point half full, aren't I? No, almost. That's the opposite. Point and a half empty. Point. 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 Or cup. Point. Cup half full. Glass pint. half full. I don't know why I said pint. Pint half full? Got beer on the mind. <laughs> no, not you. Me. No. Yeah. But yeah, very autumnal, very cosy day today. We've got a knit on. I'm actually rocking a bit of an old school hairstyle for me. This reminds me of um like 2000 and. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, con. It's a bun, honey. That's let's like a go, staple. Let's go. let's go, let's go. Come out for a little bit of breakfast this morning <laughs> before a very fun um, afternoon for me. I'm having a little bit of girl time this afternoon. I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna go pottery painting. Me and Katie and um, one of our other sisters, Natalie. Lucy was gonna come, but she has too much on her to-do list, which is a shame. But Heaven knows, we've all been there, you know, especially mum life. But it'll still be fun. I've got some really cute ideas of what I want to do. Hello. Don't act all shy. Hello, handsome. Give me a smoochie. <laughs> oh my God, okay, nobody judge me. I don't know if any other mums do this, like with their kids. Like, they just find themselves doing just things that you're like, what did I just do? I always wow. snort. <laughs> I actually always snort whenever I pick Romeo up or like give him a kiss or something. I just can't help myself. Like this, like I'll smell him. And I'll kind of get a bit carried away. And Satan's obviously picked up on the fact that I do that. He'll be like, hi, yo-yo. And then because he can't snort, like he doesn't know how to use his nose to make a snorting sound. His pig noise that he does is, Hello, yo -yo. Oh, oh. so he'll go, hi, yo-yo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> in his neck it's just hilarious so what has yo-yo got on his outfit a dinosaur yo yo's wearing his first ever six to nine month for today you know what that means get planned in the first birthday get plan. planned in the first birthday family no no come on me are you ever here that's Nat Nat's car? Yeah. It is actually Nat Nat's car, it's a Fiat 500. Yeah. Oh, you're so smart, darling. This isn't Parent of Two Life, I don't know what is. Pushing a pram through gravel. I can't do it, Connor has to do it. Carrying a monster truck with a toddler that's to make an exit at any given second. We've had to start explaining why it's not fun to play Where's Sane in public recently. So yeah, we've come to somewhere called Glove Factory for a little bit of lunch. Um, we absolutely love it here for any local girlies. It's like a corporate section over there. They do like offices and meeting rooms and things like that. Then they have this like marquee tent thing that is, they do stunning food. Let me go and show you the menu in a sec. Oh my God, I actually don't know what to choose. And then they have lovely, lovely grounds out there, which I feel that you can't really appreciate from here, oh, but that's like a ginormous it. field. And then there's a really lovely walk, like beautiful miles and miles and miles of countryside walk. Um, and it's just a really nice place to come. Lovely fire going. But tell me you guys haven't seen a better lunch menu than this. We've got pork bacon and chorizo stew with toasted sourdough, red pepper cannellini bean and chipotle soup, again with sourdough, chorizo parmesan and potato croquettes. I am thinking about this goat's cheese, onion, and hazelnut parcel. Connor wants this chicken and bacon sandwich. Look at this, guys. Gingerbread white chocolate cookie. This is my kind of play, Saint. Let's try it together, shall we? Wow. Oh. Saint has chopped up that. Oh my goodness. Try some of that. Let's go. Come on, Come on, Come on, That's so yummy. Oh, give that a 8.4 out of 10. What about you? 
10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm becoming a food reviewer, everyone. I'm going to create a TikTok and it's going to be called. It's going to be Dad and Son Reviews and we're going to go around reviewing food. That's our first review 8.4. Everybody, look at our lunch. This is for you. Thank you ever so much. That looks absolutely delicious. This is for me. I went for the pork stew, with the sourdough. Yeah, yeah. This That's is mine actually. Picnic lunch. How cute. Gorgeous. And yo yo's trying to nick mine. Yeah, I got a stew. That's a bit unlike me, isn't it? But I couldn't help myself. Pork chorizo and bacon just sounded absolutely stunning, hun. Oh, that smells really nice. That's so yummy, isn't it? Mine's a 10 out of 10 again. Come. This is the most delicious thing I think I've ever eaten in my life. I can't believe I'm saying that about a stew. Absolutely stunning. Okay, right, Katie has unfortunately stitched us for today, but me and Nat's got me to painting. I don't know if you guys have ever properly met Nat, but she's my oldest sister. I am indeed. There is an age gap of eight years between me and Nat. We've made it to pottery painting. We're just picking out what we're gonna be getting. I actually saw something really cute on Instagram, sis, about doing a birthday plate. Oh, for, okay. for your kids. Okay. So like every year then they have their cake on this birthday plate and I, I really wanna do that for the boys. I wanna plate, but we could do a birthday plate as well. Yeah, well, my, the thing is my kids' birthdays aren't anytime soon though, do you know what I mean? So yeah, and I feel like they're a vibe. These are a vibe. Yeah, look at the Christmas stuff. Oh my God, these are so sweet. And the pumpkins. Show me the birthday plate though as well, because I feel like maybe we need to like 10 things. Yeah, I will. I know, they're so nice. Oh my God, the car for same. Oh, yeah, he would love that. Or the train. Oh God, he would love that. The heart plate, that's nice as well. We've done those before. Yeah. Oh look, mermaid. <laughs> we would love that. Your nieces. Yeah. These yeah. are little dog bowls. Do a little patch dog bowl. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Should we go and see what was over there that other people have done? Yeah. Have this bow. But yeah, it's literally so cute here, guys. They have like basically they have this whole pottery painting section at the back of the shop, and in there there's like loads of um sweet things. Oh my god! That, wow. That that's must really have taken good. some and the melon bowl. Look, someone good. did a pumpkin. Sorry, we're just getting some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Look at the butter dishes there. Oh my cool. God, they're really That's cool, cool, aren't they? I like that one. Look at that. Aww. These are all so nice. Okay, these are going to be my inspo plates. I'm going to do birthday plates for the kids. This is going to be Saints because he loves this kind of thing. We obviously went for the nursery theme in his first bedroom. And I'm thinking a mixture of the three of these for Romeo. I really like the like different letters, the different colours here with the elephant in the middle and the dots. I also like the bow and the patchwork of this one. And I like the cake and stuff in this one. So I'm gonna like do a mix for that, for that one. But. Natalie's gonna do a snowman and a Father Christmas. One for me for the kids to be like a Christmas play. First of all, I'm gonna like sketch out my design. Wish me luck. Such a sight, what 
watching all the lovers fall into the night. I nearly left without showing you the finished product. I'm obsessed with them now. I'm really, really happy that that's what I chose to do. Something they can keep forever, you know, and then these are Natalie's. She did one each for her kids for Father Christmas. Honestly, it's such a gorgeous afternoon. So calming. Absolutely loved it. Back with my little gang at home. Oh yeah, were you so excited for your first birthday so you can eat from your birthday plate? Yours cheese. Me! Me! And me. This pasta is so big. Mm, look at the saint, Mum. Good job, my love. We saw it in Asda yesterday. It's like fine dining pasta. Yeah, it's like the special. Mmm. 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 Yeah, mate. Mmm. 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 I believe the cheese. I'm me, Daddy. I'm me. So you ain't saying that. You want grated cheese? Yeah. Where do you want it? There you go. I literally feel like I've just had a. Um, oh. Shouldn't you get like an itch in your ear and then you start Ooh. shivering? Did you ever get that? Anyway, I literally feel like I've hit the reset button after my pottery painting. <laughs> reset button for what? I'm a can. Life. I'm glad you had a good time, Els, because it's been a little bit crazy, yeah? <laughs> Why, what's been happening? Just keeping everyone alive, to be honest. But you know what? You did a great job. Both kids are happy. Came home, no one was crying. Nope. <laughs> Cheeky. What? But yeah, it was literally so cute. They have so did you just really, rock up? Yeah. They have a really cute little shop there with loads of Christmas stuff in. We didn't get really get like much of a chance to look in the shop because by the time we were leaving the pottery painting, the shop was shut. Well, yeah, you were there for about seven hours, weren't you? Cool, not I had masterpieces to create. Rome wasn't built in a day. My kids' birthday plates weren't painted in 10 minutes. These are things that are going to go down in the history books. <laughs> when I'm gone. They'll be like, pork croxes. They're going to have birthday plates. Ellie Darby's pork croxes. Pork croxes. Pork croxes. Yeah. And you can say, when I bring, I want to bring my mum back. <laughs> Let's have a cake on the birthday plate. <laughs> and I'll pop up like a little hologram. And I'll sing happy birthday. <laughs> oh, you want your pesto pasta, don't you, sweetie? So, do you want some more pasta? Let me get you some. With chicken and mushrooms as well, darling. Romeo has it's been the exact same dish. Loving having a little bit of food. I actually dread to think about like how much the grocery bill is going to be in like 16 years' time. Oh. Especially yo-yo, he's the king of food. Like, yeah. I thought I was good at eating. Yo-yo. Romeo's literally like a bottomless pit for a tummy. Like they're literally just going to come home to eat. Oh, yeah. And like, Hi, darling, how was your day? They'll come straight from school and just Mom have a you. meal and then they'll have dinner. And then they'll have a big old <coughs> supper before they go to bed. But do you know what? I won't have it anymore. And then they'll bring their friends around for dinner. Yeah, They're just playing outside. Oh, can... I really hope we end up being like the hosting house. Can know? Magnus stay for dinner? Oh. Yeah, I kind of can't wait for that though. Like, you know, big football matches or, you know. Yeah. We do like all really special for everybody, the boys and their friends. They might even be in the same friendship group. Mm. What do you think about that, Yoey? Yeah, we... Right, give me his pouch. One thing I love the most about living here is this gorgeous sun that comes through how do you love it as well windows like this just gorgeous ignore the state of our house oh you're using yo-yo's leg to hold on <laughs> to put your wellies on Good job, yo that's what little brothers are for right yo -y? no special boys all finished with the chocolate animals. Why are 
these days we will have our life together, won't we, Owls? One of these days. One of these days soon. It's just a matter of time. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Connor, this is like halfway through the vlog. That's right. I still hope you're having a fantastic day. Some people may watch it in sections. We are all up and dressed and ready to go out. We're actually going to go on a little trip to like a national trust spot today. We're going to Laycock. We're going to get a house out of the house, aren't we? And just enjoy yeah. the sunshine. Yeah. All nice weather. Oh, oh yeah. Romeo's holding the camera. You want to vlog? I can't believe how big he feels almost like overnight at the moment. The yo yo is almost the size of uh, Ellie, to be honest. He li he's bigger than you, Ellie. <laughs> like, you're taller than him, but he's bigger than you. <laughs> Look how big he is. But yeah, we're off to Laycock. We're going to get a coffee, nice little walk. If you guys don't know about Laycock, right, hang get on, to know. let me rewind that. I am actually deciding, I'm making a vow between you and us mm -hmm. that we are going to start like treating this channel a bit more like a bath, like visit bath, oh, okay. tourism mm. vibe, you know, because the amount of messages I get saying, oh, me and my boyfriend are coming to bath, me and my best friend are coming to bath, blah, blah, blah. What, what do, do you guys recommend? This time of year, especially, there's just so much lovely stuff to do. There's so many really nice national trust areas around where we live so stay tuned basically because this autumn winter i really want to do loads with the boys right so we're going to go this what car do you want to take mummy's or daddy's mummy's car or daddy's car daddy's big car it's always mummy it's always mummy literally mummy's car that. mummy do this mummy do that mummy do bedtime mummy read me this book Sorry, I've, got, I've got this little guy. So Laycock is like a small village and they have an abbey there, really, really gorgeous one. And Laycock Abbey is where they filmed Harry Potter and like the, like the majority of the Hogwarts scenes were filmed at Laycock Abbey. It's like the really famous like um, corridors in Hogwarts and stuff. It's all Laycock Abbey. So it is like very much spooky season vibes. Where did the actors stay? Yeah, they filmed all that. Connor, do you know what? I don't actually know. I might be a bath tourist leader, but I don't know where the actors of Harry Potter stayed when they were here to film. They have a couple of really cute pubs there, really nice dog walk, um, very, very cute shops. It's just something different to like, you know, go into, I don't know, like soft play or the park or like the shops and stuff with the kids you know i'm actually gonna be wearing a cap today i've decided that's a lovely jumper thank you i'm so hungry oh, i'm gonna have to have one of these no it's literally a story of my life i'm gonna say that honestly since i've been getting up early to train i'm so hungry Lord. well i need to take my bun out get my hair done tomorrow guys oh stunning but um yeah, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, guys. And I'm really looking forward to it because I have officially reached the point of, like, I just don't know what to do with it. I feel like I've said it a million and one times that I'm, like, on a hair health journey. This morning, I was actually staring in the, at myself in the mirror, like, I just need to get extensions back. Uh, I just don't even know what to do with myself, with this hair anymore. But I'm going to persevere because we actually have had a lot of growth, to be fair. And I'm just hoping that, you know, one day it's all worth it. But yeah, I just feel like it's at that stage where, because I haven't had it done in so long and my roots are, like, much longer now. It always looks greasy even though it's not and just, just always looks quite dull and the bleach of it needs like a like a purple shampoo on it but i'm waiting for my hairdressing appointment do you know what i mean so first world problems ellie darby's hair issue story has come to an end right do you know where my oh here they are i don't know how many times i say that sentence every day he's my big boy Loves you so much. Not my feet. Right, let's put on your socks. One foot. Where are we gonna go? Yeah. Park. Yeah. So recently we bought say some Vivo barefoot. I think they're called barefoot shoes. And basically they're supposed to be like the best shoes. What's that? What's what, darling? What's his? 
your shoes. Four foot development. No, running shoes. Oh, yeah, they're your running shoes, aren't they? Yeah. That's what we call them, so that they are appealing to him. I am a huge, huge fan of them. They need a little bit of a wash. I don't need um, and they're quite pricey. We were like, oh, oh my shall we? Shall we? Oh shall we? How's that, darling? Hi, me, mummy. It's behind you. It's yeah. a bit funny, isn't it? Now I just feel um, a bit uncomfortable putting any other shoe on him, to be honest, because I just feel like he's really, really comfy in those. And I've been watching his foot development very carefully since we made those like his, his primary. Shoes. And before we started to notice that his feet, kind of like everybody, like everybody's feet, were kind of like starting to bunch together at the end. If you think of the nature of the typical shoe that everybody wears, they kind of like come to an end at the at the toes, so they like bunch your toes together. Um, but these specific shoes don't do that, and so they just allow the foot to breathe a lot better. And guess what, Mummy and Saint are going to both wear a hat today. <gasps> Mummy's lipstick on your head. Should we go and see where your brother and daddy is? Yeah. Come on then. They're in the car. They are in the car, aren't they? So, Dad, wait for us. They were the rest. We're coming. We come in. Hurry. Hurry. Wait for Mum and Saint. Yeah. Yeah. So don't go without us, Dad. Yeah. We're coming, aren't we? Hucky will be coming. No, Hucky and Herbie aren't coming, baby. We're going to go in Mummy's car. We're going to go in Daddy's car, darling. Mummy's car is walking down. Is it? Yeah. Gosh, we better take it to the car garage then. <laughs> Saint, what's your favourite nickname that we have for Romeo? Yeah. Which one? We have Yo -E. Wow, the original is Yo Yo. Yo Yo? Do you want to hold hands with Mummy? Yeah. It's a bit bumpy, Yo Yo. It is a bit bumpy, Yo Yo. So careful. Careful. Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear, what else? Yo -E? Yeah. Oh, no, you haven't got your wellies on, have you? Oh, let's not step in our... Well puddles. done. Come on! What about Yogster? Winter warmer soup lunches, hot soup, bread and cheese at Laycock Church on Saturdays. Proceeds to the church funds. I'm just... Do you know who I am at heart? I'm a village girly. I'm a any, of, boy. any of my other village girlies, comment below. I just, there's something about me that just loves like a village shop, a countryside walk, a little village pub. Like, honestly, that is where part of my soul lies is in a cute village, especially in this time of year. Okay, so welcome to Laycock, everybody. That's the abbey over there with the sheep. We'll go, should we go and have a little wander around the Abbey today, Con? Because we are National Trust members, aren't we, sweetheart? Let's have a race to the park. Yeah. Who's going to win? Me. No, me. Me. <laughs> I do have my running shoes on. And me. And me. And me. Same has just taken himself off to go and play with a, like, group of kids. I feel like no one talks about how like heartbreaking that is as parents. Like, you know, watching your kids like do those social, just explore so just society, you know? It's like, a, it's like on one of those like Spider-Man web things that like spin around. I don't really know how else to describe it, like tower things. You got another parent spinning it. And it's like a group, all of like random kids like 
with different parents and stuff and one of them mum's pushing it and they're all just like looking at each other like what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> he's really started I think it I think it's an age thing like you know two and a half he's really started to start to interact with other kids now hasn't he at, like you know places like parks and things it's not like he'll go up to them and be like Hi, I'm saying, like, what's your name? Let's be friends. I feel like he's not there yet, but he wants to be. Like, instead, he'll go up to them and, like, if he's got a car with him, he'll be like, car, like, look at my car. And that's, like, his way of bonding. And it's just... It's just like, oh, my God. I really can't wrap you up in cotton wool forever, you know? Same! Oh. I was just... I'm not crying. Although I wouldn't put it past me to be crying or something like that. You know what I'm like. Okay, we've come uh, to the tub for a little bit of lunch. There are a couple of really nice pubs in Lake Oh, that light is not very good, is it? There we go. Let me take my hat off now. We're inside as well. There are a couple of really nice pubs. Lunch with boys. I've gone for roasted chicken breast with truffle cream tagliatelle parmesan rocket. Connor's gone for a salmon salad off of the specials board and they have a really good um, kids menu where they do like sausage and mash and stuff so we've got to save that. But listen to these puddings Con. Homemade sticky toffee pudding with salted caramel ice cream or an apple and blackberry crumble with custard or ice cream. <coughs> Or a homemade chocolate brownie with vanilla ice cream. Me and Romeo wants the chocolate brownie, please, man. Shall I go for a crumble or a sweet toffee, though? Sticky toffee, sticky toffee. You a sticky toffee kind of gal or a crumble kind of gal? I can't pick. I feel like. 80% of the time I'll go for a sticky toffee if it's a Sunday. Go for a crumble yeah. after a roast. Yeah. yeah. Food has arrived. Actually, it looks really yeah, yummy. Sane's got sort of smashed up at that really nice okay. con. Table moving. Go on then, Dad. Dad, Max, how do you do it? Uh, yeah, napkin. Hold on, yeah. And voila. Love it. It's not her. <laughs> there was another really nice one called um, Sign of the Angel that I really want to go to, but I think it's more of like a evening dinner with friends vibe. Okay, guys, so welcome to my tour of Laycock. What a beautiful day to be exploring. Fun fact about Laycock, these houses here that are like in the actual heart of the village, I do believe you can't actually buy them. Like you can't just buy a house in Laycock to move into. You have to be, no, but it has to be um, like passed down to you through like a will. Ellie, if someone wants to sell it, I'm sure it's no, just... No, con, honestly. I think it's more the fact no one would want to ever sell it because it's such a beautiful, tranquil village. Con, why can't you just... Okay, what about if I... Okay, I inherit that village and I don't want to live... That, that village, that house, I don't want to live there. Tough, oh, pass well, it down I to just, your kids. It's... Make a fun holiday home out of it, con. Happy to be here. Lovely. No, you can't, you're not allowed to do stuff like that in Laycock, con. I'm almost hey, certain hey, that I'm right. Look what's on this side of the road. <gasps> Look, same. And all of the houses are super old and they date back to literally like, oh my God, like really, really, really old. But Look, same. <gasps> zombie. This is a graveyard. Hi. <laughs> Hi, cutie. It's a skeleton's like your book, Funny Bones. Can you see the funny, the skeleton dog? Tail on his head and his head on his tail. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, that actually scared me. And also, something about the people of Laycock is that they're all very crafty and they all love to leave stuff like this outside their doorstep. Yeah, I got I think I actually have bought a rocky road from one person before. Laycock Bakery. 
Is it showing, like, a sign that I'm ageing, that I am, like, genuinely really interested in the history of Lake Up? Like, I actually, actually want to, like, get a guide book right now. You asking me? Or the fans? Connor's, like, Connor's, like, the last person interested in history. It's and it's, it's a great love of mine, actually. It's just not me that I live, I'm afraid. I'm a history girl. More about the future. Oh, good one. There's the other pub I was telling you guys about called Side of the Angel. Apparently this is one of the most haunted pubs in the whole of the UK. And if that isn't fitting content for the last vlog of October, I don't know what is, honey. It's serving spooky. Con, listen to this. The Laycock ghost has been seen on a few occasions. Apparently she sits at the pub waiting for service. An elderly lady. Let me guess, she orders sticky toffee pudding. You're so... Honestly, you're just like my biggest hater. If anybody ever wonders, oh, does any of the, you know, being online nasty oh, comments Ellie. get to Ellie? Well, guess what? I've spent my whole life having the mick taken out of me by someone else, so... Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate bar. Very sweet little chocolate shop in New York. Oh my gosh, look! Totally gonna buy some goodies. Dessert sauce jars. Oh my gosh. Sainty is getting chocolate bones with an egg. We've got these get that as well, hot chocolate bombs. Oh my gosh! There's a marshmallow in there. Bloody hell, I'd have got one. Is that gorgeous inside? In the hand. Do you want me to do that bit for you? We have just come into the National Trust section. And we're going to do the leaf trail. Become a leaf detective. Here we go, Sam. Watching all the lovers fall into the night. All the moons in the heart. Honestly, it does feel like really every time. Yeah. Great for Harry Potter fans. Insane. Somehow find ourselves in the depths of Laycock, the main house. That's massive manor house. It's actually like. Skedaddle. Dad! That felt like doing a haunted house tour. Didn't it, Saint? We go upstairs. You want to go upstairs again? It's a bit scary in there. Yeah. 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 Is that it's yeah. Yeah. Oh. it's a bit dark. Okay, it is half eleven. I have an appointment at 12 
told myself I was going to be leaving the house at 11 and this is why as a mum of two or just in general if your name is Ellie Darby Swift gonna be honest it's the Darby side to me I need to tell myself to leave half an hour earlier so my time that I told myself I was going to be leaving was 11 here we are 11 30 and I'm finally leaving but I'm still making it in time for my appointment at 12 because it's only half an hour journey girl math at its finest hello new car mount can you believe i've been on youtube for nine years and this is my first ever time talking to you guys with a car mount in the car this is the only thing lighting's gonna be horrific but good morning my loves it's another new day today um i'm really excited because i am off to go and get my hair done I'm gonna get my nails done as well so today is a friday right now and i am so excited i feel really really christmasy right now guys because i have just been organizing my um feel good freebie fridays which i do in my angel gal chat which is my broadcast channel over on instagram they were feel good freebie fridays now honey they're gifts with mrs swift because christmas season is fast approaching only eight fridays to go until christmas day and if you guys are following me on instagram and you're part of the broadcast channel anyway you will know that every friday um i've been doing like little giveaways i've been i've like had like a starbucks card that i've been topping up um with money and then sending you guys the voucher in the broadcast channel for you guys to go and purchase a hot chocolate on me or have a little coffee with a friend on me and that's just something to like you know brighten everybody's day but now that the countdown is on till christmas i really wanted to do something really special for you guys and just make every single friday really fun really exciting and just basically give you guys as many of you as i possibly can i wish i could give everybody something special um but just give as many people as i can you know some really lovely like fun memories this christmas so i've got a whole list of things i'm going to be doing every single friday from now until christmas and today in the broadcast channel i said that i was going to be giving away two tickets to the um the like the love actually live performances they do them all up and down the uk in like liverpool edinburgh london bath i don't know if any of you guys remember but from a couple of vlogmases ago i think it might have been last year or maybe the year before um me and like a whole bunch of my friends went to go and see the the love actually theater performance in bath and it's basically you watch the love actually show on this massive screen in a theater but obviously the songs from love actually don't because i will actually get in my feelings about that love actually is all around oh my god i literally can't wait for christmas films yeah obviously the music in love actually is like just basically nothing short of heavenly and so they have like a live orchestra performing all of the songs like in front of the the cinema screen and it's just gorgeous of course i cried when i went to go and see it and it's just like a really lovely really festive thing to do and i thought that you guys might love that so yeah i'm gonna be picking someone to take somebody to go and do that and um i've also sent out a voucher this morning for a girl to go and do the pottery painting that we did earlier in this vlog it's really hard because youtube is obviously like not live but my instagram is live and so when i said the other day on my instagram story that i'd done the pottery painting that you guys would have watched in this vlog i said that i would do a voucher so we do a lot of good stuff over on the instagram especially the broadcast channel and i'm just really really excited it's got me so so looking forward to christmas like honestly oh my god this is the thing with me it gets to it gets to september and i'm like okay autumn then it gets to october and i'm like okay i really feel autumnal now then it gets to like the 25th of october plus and i'm like nah i'm over it let's do christmas now anybody else the same i'm like you know looking at little christmasy getaways um that i want to go on with the kids all of our days out because obviously like loads of christmas stuff gets booked up really far in advance so that's why i'm doing the love actually tickets and other fun ideas that i have for like next friday and the friday after in the group chat because i want to make sure that the winner can you know go and do it so anyway merry christmas my love from me to you <sighs> just a great time to be alive can i tell you about something really weird that's been happening actually it happened today when i got out of the shower 
and it happened yesterday when I woke up. And this is a mention for my spiritual girlies, okay? If you guys are not like into this kind of woo-woo stuff that I am, I'm sure lots of you will know by now that I am, you know, like really into, um, you know, just like energy, basically, <laughs> to put it bluntly. I woke up yesterday morning hearing a frequency and it was like a really like high high pitch like mm, it was it was like a mm, i know that probably sounds funny to so many of you because it's like and you've literally just woken up with a ringing in your ear like maybe you have a block dear baby something is going on with the biology of your body but it wasn't like that it was really like a really like a spiritual like frequency and it just felt like my whole body felt really warm and like really relaxed and it was it was just like I don't, I don't really know how to describe it anyway it happened yesterday morning and I was just kind of like maybe I was still dreaming as I woke up you know but then it happened again today when I got out of the shower and I just took a minute and I did a couple of deep breaths with it and it really like filled over my whole body and I don't know if I'm having like a you know visit from my guardian angel or if it's maybe you know I like to think sometimes stuff like that is my mum maybe giving me a hug um or something like that but it was just like a really delightful experience and I googled it and it's supposed to be about like basically leveling up and you almost sit at like an energy level that your physical body still needs to catch up with and I just thought what an interesting thought anyway you guys know me I'm so f I'm so all for that kind of stuff so yeah do you know what else we're gonna do we're gonna put on oh but all too well just come on well maybe we got lost in the name of being honest I can't believe that just came on that's like one of my number one autumn songs. Anyway, I was about to say we'll put on the Love Actually playlist, but do you know what I've been listening to? The Holiday playlist, and can I just actually say something? There are so many songs on that playlist that obviously, you know, were like um, written specifically for the film. There are literally ones called like Iris and Jasper, um, Dream Kitchen, stuff like that. There isn't one called Meet Cute. And I just thought that was a bit rude and inconsiderate considering Meet Cute it's meet cute it's the holiday babe do you know what i mean why would we not have a song called meet cute anyway let me just hit you in the feels with this right literal shivers does this make you want to do some sort of expressionist dance that your teacher would have had you doing in year nine i mean it's so annoying that youtube doesn't let you play like real songs because honestly i think if it did my youtube channel would literally be me just driving in the car having half an hour to myself zoning in to songs what a magical idea someone needs to create a platform that does that you know anyway we are nearly on red battery because i forgot to charge this camera battery so i need to get on the other one and we are also nearly at my hair appointment so let's go and transform this <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Guys, this is not the big like glam hair reveal that I really wanted to do on camera, but I'm just gonna keep it real. Um, I've been trying to edit this sort of vlog basically all week, but um, Mum of Two Life has stopped me from doing that, so that's why you're getting this vlog late in the evening on a Sunday evening. But I really love it. I know you probably can't really see it in this light, but. Basically, in a nutshell, I just got a few low lights, I think she said. Um, usually I would get like bleach foils all in my T-section, like basically everywhere. Um, but I only really got them around like this, this bit basically of my head because I wear my hair up so much. And I also had a much darker toner than I usually get. And so it just means that the melt, like the blend between my roots and my pre-existing bleach is a lot softer. 
and I really really like it like I just feel like it looks so much healthier um I feel like it's much more maintainable I also feel like I've got a lot more length than I actually realized um my goal is that I definitely want to grow a bit longer but anyway I'm really happy with it and I think it's really autumnal as well like I said I know this is not the best lighting at all like you can't really see it but I really like it. I was going to go ahead and finish off today's vlog, my loves. I hope you enjoyed it. A really nice long one for you guys today. Sorry, we've just eaten a roast dinner and put the boys to bed. So I'm like, I need to just chill out on the sofa. We're going to watch a new horror. What's that new horror called on Netflix? Talk to me. Talk to me. And it's the one with the hand, right? Mm -hmm. It looks really, really, really scary. So I really wish us luck. Like I said earlier in the vlog, this is going to be the last October vlog. And I'm really excited because you guys know to me, November means Christmas. We don't wait till December on this channel to celebrate Christmas. It's go, go, go from the 1st of November. So um, if you have any like content requests of what you would like me to do, then let me know. Of course, I have my fun festive ideas, but I'm so excited for Christmas this year. I'm so excited for the content. I feel like in a really good place with everything at the moment and i'm just really excited to bring you some fun festive content so cheers to that love you so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your week guys and i will see you in the next vlog bye